The most important list that any board gaming channel can have is their top 10 games of all time. So this is my top 10 games in 2023 here on Legendary Tactics. So you were doing your list and it changed. It's, you know what, I wow. wonder, it's been about two and a half years since I published my last list. Yeah. And five games are off the list. Unbelievable. Five new games are on the list. So Through the Ages is gone. Toast. Time Stories. Time Stories is out. See you later. That's right, out of there. Twilight Imperium. Wow. The, the only reason that one's gone is because it's such a wow. long game and it doesn't get to the table enough. The table, okay. So it's out of there. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Still love the game. I'm waiting for the new edition, the revised version of it. I okay. It was a complete train wreck disaster. So you're waiting to see. I'm waiting to see. What yeah. they do with it. And Let's then. See. And pandemic. pandemic. Too soon? Still love it. Still love it. I've, okay. I've gotten back into the game, but there's just better games. Yeah. Okay. So, there's 10 better ones. I do love the legacy. Fantastic. Oh, one, that's one of my faves. All so, time, yeah. But those are, are games that are hankering to be in my top 10 and aren't quite there. Well, let's start with number 10 then. Okay. Let's so, take a look. Uh, this is my list, so I get to put on here the games I want to, and I know you might have a problem with this. Yeah. I confess I have very limited play with this game. It was okay. a Kickstarter. It's right. called Moonrakers. Okay, we've been trying to find that for you. We've yes. been trying to track it down. It, it You can get it, but it's expensive because you have to ship it, and it's right. it's pretty pricey. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Um, but what I love about the game, so Moonrakers thematically is, um, and then if I look at my shelf, I see I've got an entire shelf of space-themed games. Ooh, very nice. So this is another space-themed game. Okay. It uses the Dominion card mechanic where you start with a basic deck and you're, you're upgrading, trying it, to get rid of cards, it. trying to make it better. Um, and the game is essentially upgrading your ship with different pilots, and okay. you're trying to complete missions. Mm -hmm. When you go on a mission, you often can't do it yourself based right. on the cards in hand, so you need some help. All right. So if you, me, and Nate are playing, um, I'll say, Cash, do you want to help me out with this mission? And you'll say, mm, it's kind of risky. No, and I'll nice. be like, Nate, if you take one of the hazards, I'll give you two gold and there are two of the rewards. So there's a barter. So there's a barter, barter mechanic. System. Okay. And that's why this game is on my list because I love a game that's interactive yes. as well as um, strategic. Okay, so it has both those elements it checked does. off for you. Super cool. Awesome. So this one, I, two years from now, I don't know if it'll be on my list. But for right now, it because has cracked the top 10. You're asking me today if I wanted to get a game right now, that would be one of the ones I'd want to play with you. Okay, well. So that's up there. Good. Wow, awesome. So number nine. Nine. So this is one I don't own a physical copy of, and that's because the physical copy isn't on my list. It's the digital copy. So you have another strange caveat with this one. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. There's Just a start with a little, we got some caveats going on here. For sure. Them. It's early. Yeah. So some games I like better digitally. Yes. Some I like better physically. And we've had that. We've had that debate, right? We have. Digital yeah. versus card top. The okay. digital version of a Game of Thrones, the board game, is right. No, we played gorgeous. it. We have we very have, much so. Yeah, it's... What got me into it originally was that it was very much like diplomacy, and that you sort of choose your actions and then reveal uh, what you've done. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I found the balance on the game was really good. There's different tracks that I think work really well together that you're vying for supremacy. And, yes. Um, overall, you have the physical copy. I do. I do. Do you play it much? No. It doesn't just get to the table. No. No. But, but we need to play it more. We, yeah. And, may, and maybe maybe also to sway you too with a physical copy. You, you might. start playing a bit of that, you'd be like, oh, you know what? It's, it's catching up with the digital. Yes, so, for sure. But the digital edition's wonderful. Splendor Duel. Splendor Duel. And we so, played this. this is a brand and I like it. it. Yes. I do like this it. This is a good. really cool game. What I love is uh, the compact nature Very of the game. Compact. And uh, beautiful components. This is one I can play with my wife, with my kids, with my mom. Um, it's an upgrade, I think, Versatile the original for, Splendor. For who you can play with. Yeah. Um, it's only two players, the, the big downside for this okay. game. Well, but it's um, it is. You know how we like to bend the rules on that one? Yes. <laughs> yes. For sure. Yeah, we'll find a way. Dude, that's right. We always find a way. You can, you can squeeze three in there somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so that is Splendor Duel. Okay, a great little game, indeed. Exactly. I think most people who watch our channel probably know that this game will be on the list. It has to be there somewhere to flash, right? You yes. love it. You love it. I do love it. I've played it a lot. I've enjoyed it a lot. Uh, you I got a lot of mileage on it. I, yeah, yeah, and you know what? This is one that I've actually played digitally more, but I'm putting the physical copy. Um, I've actually oh, made, this is the ultimate physical copy. Oh? Because I've combined, I bought three different versions of the game, and I've combined all the best pieces from and, and components oh. from all these different Come on, versions. really? Yeah. To like so, create the, the to create mega the copy. Game. Yep. Oh, I love it. And this summer, we've got uh, Gen Cons coming, and there's another yes. edition coming. 
So I'm curious if they could make a better looking map than this. Because this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Yeah, it's a gorgeous map. I love it. And I've also... <laughs> there goes the box. Who cares? The box. Yep. <laughs> oh, He's stopping us. <laughs> um, with oh, this one, look at the components, look too. Look at these components. Aren't they Just gorgeous? Just beautiful. Yeah, those are like die cast metal. Yeah, so heavy duty. I have a feeling I'm going to be disappointed when I see the new well, edition of this game. Well, I don't know how you're going to top that, but, to be um, honest. Yeah. That is going to be a challenge. So Okay. Okay, now the next one, and this is my number six, and you share an affinity for this game. Right, I believe it is... Wingspan. Wingspan. I love Wingspan. Great choice. I'm you know not, the expansions? I do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The, okay. The Nectar. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a game where uh, I'm not a big Euro fan, but thematically, I thought I would hate it. Yeah. But I love. I know. Learning about ornithology. Exactly. <laughs> it's really it's wonderful. Like a bit of culture, right? Like yeah. yeah. Who sure. would have thought wine was an experience? But it is. <laughs> so we've done strategy guides. We've done playthroughs. We've got like we got record breaking this. scores in this game. So we've yeah. got all that on the channel if you want to check it. Out. And by the way, if uh, you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do so now. Like the video, comment all of that if you want to support our channel. We also have members content. So if people yes. want to see behind the scenes and get to know us and our picks a little more, yeah, then don't uh, think about signing up. They can go that way. Well, Absolutely. Let's go to a smaller game now. Yes. Uh, part of what I love about board gaming is that um, it, it brings people together. So Coup, Coup is the game that no matter where I go, no matter who I play with, this is the game I take. You can actually see I wanted to bring, this is um, what this I take with travel me. Copy. This is my travel copy. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. if I'm you know, canoeing or camping or whatever, Doesn't you matter. can pop that in your pocket. Waterproof. You don't, you don't even need this. Chuck it around, no problem. Yeah, But exactly. a great little game, it's, versatile. It is a beautiful little game. And it's um, cracked your top five. And it's number five on your list. And it wasn't on my list before. It should have been. Yeah. But everybody I play it with well, loves it. What's the problem it. making a list sometimes? You know, you, there's games you just think, oh, Yes. Jeez. That's right. You know? And I lose at this game every time. I suck at this game. And it's still so and fun. It's still. It's fantastic. Number five. So getting down it. to the top five, so number, five, number four. Number four. Again, no physical copy. And the reason is this game, Root, is too hard to teach players all the different asymmetrical powers. And um, I love playing this game digitally. Digital. Digital yeah. version. So it's interesting. You're getting a nice blend in your list here. Definitely. And part Red of when, top, I'm, when I'm making... Versus, versus uh, digital. For sure. And when I make my list, I want to make sure that there's a balance of games. So I'm thinking about the whole, the whole list, not just each individual game. Okay. So for me, I mean, this is a fun party game. This is a fun two-player game. Here's a Euro. Here's a war game. And so there's a bit of balance in terms of um, what my list does Great for my, to scratch my board gaming itches. So uh, I love Root. Cute little fuzzy characters. I'll put some graphics on screen for you there. It's asymmetric symmetrical and I just find it's infinitely interesting to study the strategy of the different factions in that game. The asymmetry surprises me with you. You're mm -hmm. not generally an asymmetrical kind of guy. No. I learned it one at a time yeah. and just on a need-to-know basis, okay, all I need is Vagabond, Toward one character, yeah. this is what the they thief. do, this Boom. is how they win. Yes. Wow. A lot of fun. So awesome. I, I hope I'll convince you that that game is, is It's so got good. some meat. Yes. Yeah, okay. So. On to my number three. Yes. This next game is one that caught me by surprise. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. It was actually one of our viewers uh, who told me it was his favorite game, mm. uh, David Umstad. Okay. And you know when I pay attention when somebody tells me it's their favorite game. So this one is new to my list. Right. And it is. Oh my gosh. That it is, is heavy. After. It is. Whoa. It has got some heft. Star Wars Rebellion. Rebellion. Oh, so super cool. Thematically, yeah, on I love point Star Wars. For me, right? Yeah, awesome. And it, I'm, I've said it before, but if you want to play the movie, this is the game to play. To play for Star the Wars. Movie. There's, I mean, there's so many Star Wars games, but this is the, the one. The Rebels that, versus the Imperials. Oh, you come out and there's there's a tiny little group of rebels on the board, and there's this massive empire, and the rebels are they have a hidden base, and they have to um, basically sabotage the empire and build their the the rebel alliance and. It's so much fun. It's oh. it's really great, and there's just so much to explore in that game. Unbelievable. So awesome. It is awesome. huge. And and no awesome. small box. No, not at all. Right, a lot to it yeah. there. So that's great. That's for sure. Number two. You're number two. Got it over there. Now we have a little a little mini version. Yes, that's right. We we're a little lazy. I got the the master copy in, in the, uh, not in the studio here, but uh, I did just pick up the expansion. It is actually the full game Cosmic Encounter that I like. Yes, okay. So, and again, the interactions socially that I really like. It's got that space theme. Um, I love that it's infinitely adaptable with say. each of the, the player powers. And, and every uh, game is wildly different. It is. Right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. And it's just, it's such a perfect game, in my opinion. It's the right length. Right. Um, everything about it is super fun. It's got negotiating. 
Yes, it does. Got exploration. They got to explore and get your tokens it's got in. Concrete and, and, con yeah, and the yeah, game yeah. completely changes with the alien powers that are interacting. So right. that's what I really love about Cosmic Encounter at my number two. Your number two and number one. Number we come one. to it finally. Yes, we do. Now, as you've seen the channel before, this has not changed. Right. Kemet is my all time favorite game. Still. It has been for a long time. For years now. It has, for, sure. <laughs> for years. I backed the Kickstarter. What do you love about this game? It's the, the combat mechanic, is what sets this apart for me. The combat um, mechanic. It okay. really caught my attention. So, Blood and, Kemet Blood and Sand has been on Kickstarter. I supported it, got the game, played it. Didn't love it as much as the original. Uh, I think that's a problem with me, not with the game. I probably, I just have such a love for this game. Mm -hmm. I was reluctant to learn the new rules okay. and to, you know. Um, but overall, I love the minis. I love the tech trees. I love the board. Yeah. I love everything. The minis are pretty cool in this one. They're really super cool. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I don't sure. know if, we, uh, if they're buried deep, but oh, they are pretty somewhere. neat. Yeah. Uh, I have tried to love this game. You have. I've tried to like this game even. Yeah. And it just it doesn't resonate. I, I don't I don't know what it is about it. It just Yeah, I mean, check those. Those are awesome. They're really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So this is an area control and game. Um, I like that you can win by playing defensively. You can win offensively. Uh, you can win through economy. There's a lot of is different it dual map? Factory. It is. It is a yes. dual side uh, map. Depends on the number, number of players. players. Okay. That's right. My favorite thing to do though is to play this side and put Nate right here. So, so he's got everybody's yeah, targeting sure. NATO. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, why not? That's what I say. Exactly. <laughs> why not? Oh, kind of smells like beer. beer a little bit but, of a beer uh, spill on yeah, it. Yeah, it's weird. So that's my top ten list. Uh, anyways, appreciate you visiting. Thanks for checking it out. Check out some of our other videos. We'll link to them at the end. And now get out there. Get gaming. Be legendary.